हरिओम श्री राम अंबद्य नाथ सवे नाथ सवे नाथ सवे एक्चुअली देर आई थिंक आई वॉज ऑल्सो इन्फॉर्म यू आर ऑल्सो इन्फॉर्म द सेकेंड प्रोफेशन इज नॉट गोइंग टू बी एयर टूडे राइट अगे अगे यू नो प्रॉब्लम्स वे सच ए ऑस्पिशियस डे राइट आई वोट माइंड आई वोट एज टू टॉक एट ऑल आई वोट से नो सटनली You always say this is life here. Yeah. What life I'm going through here, yeah. right? Because there are many difficulties, there are hardships. Some other thing which we do not like, that only comes in front of us. What are the like runs away from us? So and so many things. The list is ever non-ending, <laughs> right? And at the same time, those who want to see what are the positive things in life. His list is also an ending. But how to achieve that? We read so many books on positive thinking. I think the number of books on positive thinking, how to be confident, the number, the out number, all the uh, this thing, what you call religious books of all the religions put together. How to become rich is the most common book which everyone purchases. One who become riches is the author and the publisher. That's one. Nobody has become richer by reading this book, right? But do we do read? And in some period of our time, life, we feel, feel like reading such things, right? But at the same time, keep that in mind that unless we move ourselves, we move our minds, we search our minds, we work physically, mentally, as well as intellectually and spiritually, then only the success comes. we always feel that spirituality means something different from my life no different if you consider that spirituality is different from my life then you are making biggest mistake of your life obviously there are going to be few differences which you have to follow like i always say don't speak lies to your god if the same principle you utilize with others You will be robbed absolutely of everything what you have. At present, you have to speak lies also to survive in this world. Right? At the same time, I say that do not carry any ego to him. The Almighty, you are Swami Bhagwan, you are Sadguru. Yes, you must remove, destroy every bit of ego. But at the same time, a certain amount of ego is required in this world. Which Adi Shankara Charya was a follower, not only for. Proclaim our Advaita. The heavy thing. You and me are same. I am myself and the stone is same. All that thing, right? Not that he is wrong. He also said, "If this is not to be taken just like that," and he proved it by his story also. Once when I was born, he was he had given a big discourse on Advaita. Everything is Brahma. You are also Brahma. He is also Brahma. She is also Brahma. This table is Brahma. This stone is Brahma. That door is Brahma. This floor is Brahma. This fan is Brahma. Something like that. And few pundits were opposing him. What did it? They called for mahout and one elephant. Elephant was given lots of alcohol, and in Kashi, in Banaras, Varanasi, what we call nowadays, right? Initially, now it is improved a lot by ten thousand percent. What we are seeing last three years. But before that, Kashi was made up of small, 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 small lanes. Rows of houses, even hardly a rickshaw might pass. I am not rich. I only one person can walk. Those were such small, small lanes. The whole Kashi was made up. And Shankara Charya ji had taken a bath on Gandhi Sri. He was coming to his residence. He entered that particular lane, very small lane, narrow lane, and they said an elephant was drunk and very hefty from other end. And he came running because he was drunk, absolutely. Now, as soon as Shankara Ji saw that, he did not know what to do for a second. At the same time, one old lady was sitting there in the veranda of house. She went up the staircase, shouted, "Shankara Ji, Maharaj, Maharaj, bhago, bhago, hathi aa raha hai." Maharaj, Maharaj, bhago, bhago, hathi aa raha hai. Shankara Ji ran to her house for shelter. In the evening. That when this uh, meeting was there, meeting was being held. 
where all these discussions to go on, we should have brainstorming absolutely. Most of the times we don't understand such languages, Maya, Advait, Advait, Vishta Advait, Keval Advait, all these things are. I don't understand. I don't want to understand. I know only one thing that is sufficient for me. Love is all that is, that's all. Right? See, we are talking about Shankara and not me, definitely. So, one point where sent this elephant, he stood up, he said, there are hundred people who saw you running away from the elephant. And you are proclaiming in biggest voice, in loudest voice, that everything is Brahma. If you are also Brahma and that elephant is also Brahma, and that Madhira, Madhya is also Brahma, why you should be scared? He said, yes, but the lady was shouting, Maharaj, Maharaj Bhago was also Brahma. <laughs> she was warning me, that one was also Brahma. I listened to that Brahma. And he said to him, only because the elephant knows, that he, the elephant does not know that he is Brahma. I know I am a Brahma. That is the difference. Right? That, this, this story is always told for one important thing that, Shankaracharya has proclaimed the Paramarthic Satya and Vyaparik Satya as two separate things. Paramarthic Satya is that everything is one, everything is part and parcel of God. But at the same time, every life, every jeev, every human being has a freedom of action and speech. Both, not given by our constitution only, but given by her constitution, Majagadamba's constitution. So because of that, they are free to behave the way they want. So though they are Brahma, they have forgotten the original God is a Brahma, that is Satchit Ananda. Satchit and Ananda is called, they have forgotten. So instead of creating Ananda, they are creating sadness in the life of others. Right? So, Vyavarik Satya means practical truth. And a Paramarthik Satya, that is the spiritual truth. At times, you have to follow spiritual truth, at times you have to follow Parama truth. How? Don't worry. If you have a trust in your God, He shows you the way. See, I tell you one story which I have been telling many times. If you have to study, we will volunteer here. Dr. Sadosh is here, right, from KM. So, I will take his name only. Sadosh is such decided, he has vowed that I will speak only truth. Satya bolunga bas. Satya kisa kushni bolunga. I said, I will beat him definitely, but suppose he has done that. He decided, and he's sitting outside his house on Khatiya. And he's saying, Ram, 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 whatever it is, right? And one young, beautiful girl comes running. So, Uncle, please save me. So, Santosh is a nice person. So, he, he hides her in his house and then those gundas come, right, those hooligans come, those who want to rape her. And they ask him, Hey, Saleh Buddha, you saw Chakuli? He said, oh, chicken, 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 it's good. And then he said, if Santosh has problems, right, he has decided, he has vowed to speak truth. If he speaks truth, they will go inside and rape her. And Santosh has no capacity to fight 40 people, so he cannot fight with them. He cannot save her also. She will be raped and killed. What he should do at this time? His God will tell him that, look, tell these people that she ran away he from east to west, go to the west. And after 10 minutes, he will tell that girl that, look, I have sent them to the west, you run to the east and save yourself. Now, what is the truth? That's why the definition of truth we must know. I always said, I have written down in Purusharatha Ranthanaj also. Truth is that, that creates perfect pavitra, perfect auspiciousness, perfect holiness, perfect purity, pavitra. I think pavitra is the word which every Indian understands. This is pavitra, the cleanest, the perfectly clean, from inside within as well as outside. Emotionally, characteristic-wise, quality-wise, quantity-wise, every way. Okay? So, the thing that creates pavitra 
is truth. The thing that breaks and destroys the Pavitra is lie. Here he has maintained her virginity. He has protected her. So, he has protected the Pavitra. He has, become, he has spoken the truth. But if he says, yes, go inside, she is hiding there, go and refer. Is there going to be creating a Pavitra? No, no auspiciousness. Right? Not something good, something evil. Right? That is not truth. But truth cannot produce evil. What is that produces evil cannot be truth. That may be a fact, but that is not a truth. Yes, that girl is hiding inside is a fact. So there are two terms, fact and truth. Vastav or satya. Fact means vastav. Whatever that is, right? But that may not be perfect. Right? Just see. If some young boy is there, and his weight is 40 kilos, 40 kg, and his height is 6 feet, how will look? It's a fact. And he is 6 feet, he's 20 years old, his weight is 40 kilos. Should we take it as a truth? No. He has to change it. He has to put on weight, not by put on, putting on fat, but putting on, increasing strength of his muscles. Right? And once if he gains those an additional 20 kgs, then he becomes the real young man. That is the truth of him. If he doesn't do that, that also becomes the truth. So truth or lie is decided by your actions. The reason behind those actions, the aim behind those actions, keep that in mind. Not by your actions alone. You will see one lady beating her child mercilessly, pulling him and throwing him on the roads. See, what a mother she is. She is callous. She is beating her child, own child. How she is going to treat others? At the same time, you will see another mother. Oh, my child, you don't want to go to the school? Don't go. Stay at home. See, what lovely mother is. All of us who would have thought the same way, right? In childhood. But that is, only in childhood it is good, right? Not afterwards. So which is the best real, real mother? Which is the best, uh, better mother? Which is the best mother? The first one. Her action is that of cruelty. Her aim behind that is, my child should go to the school. And the cause is basically behind that is, her aim is that my child's future should be secured properly. My child should progress. Right? So, if you see superficially, she appears cruel, but she's actually most loving. And the mother will say, okay, my child won't go to the school. He's actually not his mother only. She's his hater. Are you understanding? Right? That is the difference between paramarthic truth and, and vyavaharic truth. Are you understanding? So, in the world when we are staying, don't think that every, everyone is going to follow all the principles of ethics, right? They only talk of ethics, most of them. We should know best because we are on spiritual path, that does not mean anyone can come and cheat us. No, don't allow anyone to cheat you. We are not fools and there are many rascals around, right? So we must know that whenever we are on the path of spirituality, I'm not talking about religious, spirituality, we want to improve ourselves, we want to improve our life, we want to go closer to the God, the Almighty. We want to know Him. In such cases, remember one thing. If I love my God, maybe I might have many faults. Maybe I must have committed many sins. No problems. It doesn't matter to Him. You are Swayam Bhagwan. You are Sadhguru. Either of them or both of them. I, if one is, both of them are one and the same, still better, right? If you love him, even point zero 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 zero, like ten lakh zeros and one percent. Even that much is sufficient for him to help you out. You say, Babu, how is it possible? You don't understand. He is Ananda, he is infinite. What a small thing, you give it to him, 
as soon as he touches it, it also becomes ananda. The love may be very small as according to you, according to your judgment. As soon as he touches that thing, it touches his feet, it's going to become infinite. My love may be wrong, going in the wrong direction. I may be making many mistakes. I may be having very small love as compared to him, but don't compare yourself with him. He's Ananda Hari, Ananda Hari Katha Ananda. Hari Ananda Hari Lila Ananda. So, what a small love, what a small service we dedicate to your Lord. It becomes infinite. That's why he's able to give infinite things. So don't believe in my power of praying. No. Believe in his power of listening to your prayers. Believe in his power of listening to your prayers, and answering your prayers, and doing something for him. Have that faith. My problem may be very big, but my God is still bigger. If my problem is 100 tons, my God is at least 1 million tons. Keep that in mind. Have that faith. Today is the day of Ashari Kadashi. The day of Pandapur, Pandarinath, Vitaba. For hundreds of years, people go walking. Most of them, them are not able to take a darshan or a swap the Lord. They take bath in Chandrabhaga river. They do pranam. They pay the obeisance to the shikhar of the temple. Okay? And come back. After walking 200 kilometers, they are not able to see the image of the God. No problem for them. But they have strong beliefs. They have strong conviction. On this particular day, if I take bath in Chandrabhaga and take the darshan of the shikhar, my vital comes and sits in my heart. I take him home. Today, I will tell you one thing. If you have little faith in me, if you have little love for me, at least if you don't hate me, if you don't think that I'm very bad, every demonic person, then I tell you one thing, I promise. I will come with you. Even if you don't want. <laughs> Nobody can stop me. My name itself says, Aniruddha. The one who cannot be stopped by anybody and by any means, right? Uh, I do Tom Tom about it a lot. <laughs> I believe in me. I believe in my mother more than myself. Right? So I'm telling you all, those who are listening, those who listen here after also, I have little faith, little love for me. I am with you always. Wherever you are, even if you are amidst the biggest jungles, the fiery jungles, the forest jungles full of tigers and lions and cheetahs, or you may be in the river with a lot of roads, or you are in the center of the sea, and your boat is sinking and there is no one to save you, you are alone. You are in the desert, alone, not a drop of water. Don't worry. Just call once with love. Which your way you want to call and address me. Address. I will see. I will reach there. Okay? Yes. Take this promise with you. Remembering that I am coming with you. Provided you give me some place. Not in your room. Not in your house. But in your heart. Okay? Love you a lot. <laughs>